Okay, so boys and girls, we're doing chapter two, section eight. Name of this section is simple interest. So for simple interest, we have a formula. I equals P R T. And before we go any further, you have to know what all of these mean. So we're going to start with the letters. We're going to go from the back. T. The T stands for time. The time when we write it in the formula has to be written in years. You can write it obviously as a whole number. You can also write it as a fraction or as a decimal. But it has to be written in years. So for example, if in the problem, word problem, they mention three years. Since starting in terms of years, you would just put the number three in the equation. If they mentioned 3.4 years, even though it has a decimal, it doesn't matter. It's in terms of years, so you use it, 3.4. Here's where you have to be careful if they gave you something in terms of months. You have to write this in terms of years. So think about it. How many months make a year? Twelve. 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 So we would say this is three twelfth of a year. Or if you want to, you know that three out of twelve is a quarter or if you took your calculator, 3 divided by 12, you'd get a quarter, 0.25, 25%. So you can write 0.25. It doesn't matter. I will show you an example later on using months where you have to write as a fraction and how to put that in the equation. The next letter we have to deal with is R. R stands for rate. Specifically, for our purposes, an interest rate. Now this rate is going to be given to you as a percent. And just like the last problems we did, you have to write this as a decimal. So remember, if you had something like 25.6%, remember, just like Beyonce said, to the left to the left, we would write 0 0.256. If you had something like this, 3%. When there's no decimal, assume it's at the end, still to the left to the left. Fill in this hole with a 0, and we would write this as 3%. Pardon me. <laughs> 0.03, I apologize. Okay. Next. So, next, P. The P stands for principal. And it's not just principal, it's like at a school, principal for interest, for math class, we're going to think of this as the money you start with. Specifically, the amount borrowed or loaned. And the last I. I stands for interest, in this case simple interest, and an easy way to think about this, a simple definition is the amount, the amount of money that's either paid or earned.
for the use of money. The reason why I say either paid or earned. If you borrowed money, let's say you borrowed money from a bank to buy a house. You say, okay, thanks for the money, I'm going to buy my house now, I'll pay you back, it'll take me about 30 years to pay you back, and they're going to charge an interest rate. So let's say you borrow $100,000. You're not just going to pay them back the $100,000 only over the course of 30 years. They're going to charge you interest. You're going to pay more than that. So the bank's earning money by loaning some to you. They're getting paid. They're, make, they're earning money. You're paying money for borrowing. Okay? So now let's go ahead and do some example problems. Now let's try some examples. So let's say you have a problem and there's a thousand dollars borrowed and let's say five percent is the interest rate and let's say this is for five years so I want to know how much interest is going to be charged, what will the interest be in terms of dollars if you borrow $1,000 at 5% for five years, and then step two, I want to know how much total will you have to pay, total, total, including the amount you borrowed. So let's see how we do this. So we write our equation, I equals PRT. So what was the principal? Principal is the amount you borrowed. So what was the principal? $1,000. Yes, $1,000. Now, the interest rate. Well, remember, we need to turn this into a decimal. So just like Beyonce says, to the left, to the left. I fill in a zero right there. So that means our rate's going to be written as 0 0.05. Then the last part, the time, I've got five years. It's already written in years, so I don't have any changes, nothing special to do there. So I just write it like that. Now, to solve this, in our calculators, 1,000 times. 0 0.05 times 5. I end up getting 250. So that means the interest that's going to be charged is going to be $250. This is the answer to part 1. And then part 2, it says how much total will you have to pay. So you're going to have to pay $250 in interest. We just figured that out. But you also have to pay back the money you borrowed to begin with, mm -hmm. which was, the principal was $1,000. So together, 1000 plus 250, we've got 1250 So that's the amount that you're going to have to pay back in total. All right, so next example. Suppose you're out at the store, you're using a credit card, and let's say you charge hundred dollars. When you use your credit card, you're actually borrowing money. Mm -hmm. It doesn't take it right out of your bank account. A debit card does that, but a credit card is a little bit different. Credit card, you're actually borrowing money. And when you borrow, there are terms. They give you an interest rate. That's what they're going to charge you for using their money. Let's say the interest rate for this credit card is 12.5 percent. And if you charge $100 worth of stuff, the interest rate's 12.5%. I want to know how much additional how much additional interest or how much interest will be added
to your account or bill, whatever you want to think of it as, after one month. Not in terms of years, in terms of months. Let's see how we do this. We're still going to use the same equation, I equals PRT. So what was our principal? What did we charge? What did we start with? $100. Our rate, remember, do the Beyonce. There we go. So our rate's going to be 0 0.125. Our time, now normally I would just write it down, but we need it in terms of years. Do we have it in terms of years? No. No, we only have one month. So, I know the number one is going to be there, but how many months are in a year? Twelve. Twelve. So, to put this in terms of years, instead of saying one month, I'm going to say I have one twelfth of a year. Twelve months make a year. I have one twelfth of a year. One part of the twelve. Okay? If a year was cut, if a year was like pizza and it was cut up into twelve slices, you have one of those twelve slices. One twelfth of a year. So now let me show you how to put this in the calculator, in my opinion, the easier way. Okay? We're going to start with our fraction and then work our way over. I'll show you. This is 1 divided by 12. 1 divided by 12. Now we're going to multiply by 0 0.125. Then we're going to multiply by 100. And when you look at this, you get a big number, but we need this in terms of money, dollars and cents. Now we know there's customarily two digits after the decimal point, so this is where the penny lives, the hundredth place. We look to the right. Is that five or more? No. No. So this is going to be 1.04 or a dollar and four cents. So the question says, how much will be added to your account after one month? And the answer is a dollar and four cents. Notice I didn't ask you for the total. If I wanted to know the total that would be paid back, that's different. The total to pay back would be the principal, which was a hundred, plus the interest, which was a dollar and four cents. So the total payback would be one hundred and one dollars and four cents. But answer it this way if they ask for what the total is. If they only ask for the interest, make sure you give just the interest. Okay? All right, next example. Next example is one where we have either principal, rate, or time missing. I believe most questions you'll see will just have the rate missing, but let's see. So, suppose you had a car loan. Say you were buying a car and then you borrowed $5,000. And you decided you were going to pay it back in two years. And let's say you know the interest that's going to be charged at two years. At the two-year mark, the total interest that's going to be charged is $300. So my question is, what was the rate, or what is the rate? So we have our equation, I equals P R T. We're going to fill in what we know. First of all, the principal is what we started with, five thousand dollars. 